Today, folks, is we're going to, we're launching the Royal City Poets 5, the fifth annual Royal City Poets. That's pretty good, five years, you know, and uh, we, 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 you know, the first year we had 18 poets, and this year we've got 35, so I mean, it just keeps going. Yeah, and uh, the poets in it are great, what else can I say? So how we're going to run this is, we're going to get everybody up to do one poem to begin with, so nobody gets missed. Then we're going to go again, because sometimes when we've done two poems, at the end there's somebody that didn't have time to get up. So one each and then again. And then if you're real fast, we may go again. So I'm going to read a poem called Between the Thin Pines. I love the visual. Everything I write is usually a visual to it. I see you walking toward me between the thin pines dimensionalizing into my realm. You are frail and old, dressed in a blue plaid, worn and faded cotton robe. You are smiling, a questioning smile, right into the core of my existence. You seem so small between the thin pines dotting this enormous emotional landscape we are standing on in this dream. If I turn my head, you fade from sight. I close my eyes for a minute, then open them and see you growing taller between the thin pines, looming larger and covering my spirit with your desire. You need to be with me again. If I turn my head, you fade from sight. I close my eyes for an hour, then open them, and I see you standing beside me, close enough to touch, but still just out of reach. I don't know what to do. You've been gone so long, so permanently, with no possibility of coming back, but you have come back and I don't know what to do. Because I did carry on without you into a new life, and now here you are, wanting everything to be just like it was. But that was then, and this is now, and I don't know what to do. So, I turn my head, and you fade from sight into the impermanence between the thin pines. Thank you.